I think it's fair to now say that Atlanta Hawks center Onyeka Okongwu is one of the best defensive big men in the league. Let's not forget that he was the sixth overall pick out of the University of Southern California in 2020, and many compared him to Bam Adebayo. Now he's likely never going to be the offensive player that Bam has become, but they are comparable defensively. For Onyeka, the numbers match the eye test. Among all players who guarded at least 100 shots in isolation this season, only OG Ananobi and Patrick Williams held opponents to fewer points per chance. Opponents in isolation situations shot just 36.8% with Okongu as the defender, according to second spectrum tracking data. You can see from all these clips just how good his technique is, how well he moves his feet, and how well he anticipates the opponent's movements and direction. Also, Kangu held ball handlers to just 32.3% shooting on 65 shot attempts after a switch in pick and roll. That was one of the best marks in the league. Just to compare, ball handlers shot 36% when Nick Claxton guarded them on a switch, and Adebayo's defensive field goal percentage in these situations was 45%. That helps emphasize just how effective Okongu is guarding perimeter-oriented players. With the Hawks defeating the Heat in the 7-8 play-in game, Atlanta will play the Celtics in the first round of the playoffs. Before then, I had watched some Hawks vs. Bucks games thinking they might square off in the playoffs, and even though that now won't happen, I was amazed at just how effective Okongu was guarding Giannis Antetokounmpo. When reviewing the data, that proved accurate, as Giannis actually shot just 5 of 18 from the floor this season, when Okongu contested his shots. Another thing Okongu does so well defensively is guard the dribble. He keeps opponents in front of him most of the time when they look to attack the paint, and he's really good getting his hands on the ball and using his body as a shield to prevent escapes from the creator. I also find his post defense to be excellent. He gets his work in early and keeps his opponents off the block often forcing them into tough contested shots as they try backing him down. Okongu led all reserves this season in blocks and he was sixth amongst reserves in total rebounds. It will be interesting to see what kind of impact he can make in the series against Boston. The Celtics won all three meetings against the Hawks in the regular season, although they played on that last day of the regular season with both teams resting their core players. Watching their meeting though on March 11th, I felt like Okongu was one of the few bright spots in that game for Atlanta. He finished with 11 points and 8 rebounds, and the Hawks were a plus 12 when he was on the floor, despite Atlanta losing by 9. According to Second Spectrum, Boston took 12 shots with Okongu as the closest defender in that game, and they made just three of them. So I'll pose this question. If Okongu was a permanent starter, playing big minutes every night, and despite him being pretty limited offensively, would he be a top 10 center in the league? I think there's a case to be made for that, and maybe eventually we will see that play out. So that will wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.